So welcome back everybody. Today we're going to run through a quick video on how to speed up your Android TV, your Nvidia Shield, whether it's a Meekle box or any other Android TV device. This is a great process. One's a bit trickier. The first step we're going to do is a bit trickier, but it makes it run so much faster, snappy, quick, fast. And then the second one is a little bit simple, but it's a really good one you can do on a daily Thing. So it's something you can do daily to keep your device running really fast, running smoother, and actually limit your buffering and slow things down because you're not using as many resources, okay? So two great tips coming, and it's for your Android TV NVIDIA Shields. So before we do that, do remember, hit that subscribe button if you're into streaming. We cover everything from Android TV to Fire Sticks to Roku devices, streaming apps, movie apps, VPNs, all on one channel. So do hit that subscribe button. We're well over 500,000 now. So hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, and make sure you turn on all notifications. Anybody who's a regular watcher here, make sure you've turned on all notifications as well. So back onto our NVIDIA Shield Android TV. And what we're going to do, I'm going to quickly move myself out of the way. I forget on Android TV, I'm better in the middle here. Before we do anything, what you will see is as you move through your... Nvidia Shield Android TV device is a little bit slow, a little bit laggy. The movement speeds, the moving around is a bit slow and we can make that 100 times quicker. So we click on our settings and what we need to do is actually turn on developer options for this device. So you go down to device and preference and you need to find about. When you get to about, you click on it, go all the way down to the build number. You see this one here, which says build and then click that seven times you see at the bottom there one step away from being a developer you are now a developer brilliant go back one menu and you can scroll all the way down and what you will now have is a menu called developer options when you're in here you can turn these back off again if you don't want them there but when you're in here please don't start playing with everything willy-nilly because you can actually you know there's a lot of things in there which could ruin things on your device that you don't know about if it's stuff you know about, carry on. Or things we've shown you, fine. But don't just go clicking anything if you don't know what it does. Early warning. So we're going to scroll down quite a way on this one. You're going to scroll all the way down, past storage, past networking, past input, until you get to drawing. Okay, You'll see one called drawing. And there's three options here, which is your animation scales. And that's all about how it changes when you load something. So even like when you click this, you see the animation, it was quite slow. Um, and you've got transition animation scale and animation duration scale. So window animation scale, you want to turn it off. You see how once that's off, transition animation scale is this one. Hell of a lot quicker. And then you've got animation duration scale. You can turn it off, but if you turn this one off, it knackers up things like um, downloader, the mouse toggle. So you can either leave it on the one times it is or change it to the 0.5, okay? And as you'll see now, everything is very fast and it moves a lot quicker. So that was device preferences. Turn on your developer options. If you forgot how to do that, check the video out. Developer options all the way down. All the way down to drawing. So you can turn window animation scale to off Transition animation scale to off and animation or an animator drawing scale to 0.5. Obviously, if you don't like it, once you change it, just revert them back to how they were at the beginning of the video. Not a problem at all. And what you will see is on your home screen now, as you scroll down, it is a lot quicker, a lot snappier. And even when you do things, it's a lot quicker as well. Obviously, so you're in the settings, you see how quickly that comes up. Boom, really snappy, really quick. And everything on your devices are much and everything on your device is much quicker and much snappier. Okay, the next one we can do is really simple. Devices, no matter what device you're on, can be a little bit laggy because they have too much running in the background. Your phone will do the same thing, your Fire Stick Widow is the same thing, Windows, they do the same thing, you have tabs open. And you can actually load up what is running on your streaming device, like mine here, I've got three apps open, three apps running, and I haven't actually opened any of them today, okay? And if you had opened up a few more, What happens is they all end up running in the background. So they're all running there. So while you're using an app, they're running in the background using up your resources. So how you open this up? What you can do is open it up and close it a bit like you would on a mobile phone. 
on my remote, because I've got this remote, it's the white circle, which is your home button. That one there. On different remotes, just find your home button and double tap it fast. And it loads this up. And you can dismiss them. And then you have nothing running in the background. So you can dismiss and dismiss. And then nothing should be running in your background. Okay. Nice and easy. If something keeps popping up all the time and it's not something you use, you can uninstall it. And you can do it. But I keep opening apps up there. What you can do is uninstall them, everything like that. But this stops things running in the background. So you double tap the home button and get them closed off. Obviously, some apps like to run permanently. And if you don't use them, just uninstall them if they're always running in the background. And it's something you don't use using up those resources. Nice, simple tips and tricks there for you. Two great options. Let me know in the comments what you thought of them and whether they're any good for you. Quickly before we leave, like I say, if you can, do remember to hit that subscribe button. Turn on all notifications for every video so you know when your Android TV comes on through. We've got a video coming in the next day or so about all the settings you need to turn off on your Android TV device. This stops things like them tracking you, monitoring what you're doing on your device, that sort of stuff. Um, and we obviously we'll be doing some more Roku and Fire Stick stuff as well. Before you leave, though, if I can, a quick word from one of our partners. IP Vanish is a partner of ours. IP Vanish is brilliant on an Android TV device. It helps you unlock geo-locked content. It helps you stop being blocked by your ISP. It is great there to keep yourself private online. You can log in there, access from any country, and use your device, and no one knows what you're doing on it. So the good thing there is, it's one of the best security apps out there for surfing the web without a trace, secure internet connection, combat online censorship, all there, and we've got an exclusive offer for you. Build at $2.69 a month. Linked underneath is the cheapest offer at the moment. If that price has changed, the one we link underneath will be the cheapest they are offering and an exclusive offer we can get for you. We are partnered with them. Um, we do get a small commission. So if you are after a VPN, it does help support the channel. We don't ask for any donations here. We don't have any memberships, no signups, no Patreon, anything like that. But if you do want to help us out, use one of our affiliated links. We get a small commission at no extra cost to you. If anything, you get a better deal on the product you are buying because we have some great discounts underneath there. That's all linked underneath. Do check out the channel if you don't know how a VPN works. But if you are after one, we would appreciate if you got one from one of our links. If not, just search IP Vanish on the browser and see if you can get a price as cheap. Brilliant. So I'm out of here. Come check out the channel. We've got a latest um, setup guide for Android TV on the channel recently as well. We've also got some other videos on here, all movie apps, TV apps, all that sort of stuff, all spread out down there for you and some cracking news. I've been Doc Squiffy. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked that video and I'll see you soon.